Offshore platforms are offshore real estate, providing a surface for E&P companies to carry out the same operations as those undertaken onshore, drilling wells and producing from them, and processing, storing, and exporting oil and gas. Using similar equipment, processes and techniques to those deployed onshore. Several designs exist for the substructure of offshore platforms. The choice depends on the functions the unit will perform and on the conditions it will experience. Exploration wells are often drilled by mobile offshore drilling units, or MODUs, a generic term for various types of floating or floatable drilling machines. In very shallow waters or in lakes and rivers, drilling can be performed from a flat bottom barge, or from a submersible. Buoyancy tanks are flooded with water until the unit rests on the sea floor. After drilling, the water is pumped out and the vessel can be refloated and towed to a new location. Jack-up rigs, used in shallow waters of up to around 120 meters, have three or four large latticed legs. The rig is towed to the site with its legs up. The legs are then lowered to the seafloor and the top sides are jacked up so that they rest above the water. When drilling is finished, the legs are raised and the platform can be towed to the next site. Semi-submersible platforms are suitable for drilling in a wide range of depths, from shallow to deep. Ballast tanks in the hull are filled with water until the unit is partially submerged, which reduces loading from wind and waves. The platform is then anchored to the seabed. Drill ships, mobile, ship-shaped drilling units, can drill in ultra-deep waters of up to and even beyond 3,000 meters. Dynamic positioning systems adjust their position continually, keeping them above the drill site. Like an onshore rig, motors have a drilling package, a derrick for supporting the drill string, and machinery to turn the drill bit. If they find oil, the well is usually sealed with plugs until a more permanent structure can be moved to site for the production phase and for further drilling. These include fixed platforms, tension leg platforms, semi-submersible production units, spars, and floating production storage and offloading vessels, or FPSOs. Learn more about them in the next video.